Our series, A More Perfect Union, aims to show that what unites us as Americans is far greater than what divides us. As schools and child care centers close to slow the spread of the coronavirus, many doctors and nurses and health care workers are scrambling for basic child care. Errol Barnett shows us how volunteers are stepping up to help. We cannot wait until the pandemic is in our schools. When Minnesota announced statewide school closures, surgical resident Ariella Altman felt panicked, but thankfully... Within 24 hours, someone sent around on Facebook the link for MN COVID babysitters, and I emailed and filled out the form right away, and within another 24 to 48 hours, they said... They had matched us with these medical students. <laughs> Minnesota COVID Sitters was founded by volunteer medical students to help healthcare workers balance life with ever more essential jobs. It's incredibly important to me to give back to the people that teach us every single day as students. Attending physicians are being strapped at their highest capacity today, yet they don't have childcare for their children. Organizers like London Robinson work remotely, grouping hundreds of volunteers into pods to minimize risk, then assign each pod to a single healthcare worker, from cafeteria employees to physicians. We really need every single person that we can on the front lines right now at their full capacity. One study estimates more than 2 million children of healthcare workers may need care as the pandemic worsens. As more parents need childcare, more students are stepping up to help. So that's very exciting. High school junior Rio Piddock and her older sister Hannah also see that growing need. A lot of nurses, especially, um, we've had people say, you know, they're working you know, alternating shifts with their spouse each 12 hours and they, you know, really need someone. The Piddocks launched Step Up to Sit after Hannah's senior year of college was cut short by the pandemic. Their program also pairs homebound students with stressed out parents. It's one babysitter for one family. Our primary goal here was to keep healthcare workers up and running. A secondary goal was really to give our generation a platform to step up. Mayo Clinic pharmacists Sarah and John Leung say step up services have been invaluable in protecting their daughter, Eloise. There's a lot of anxiety about what's going to happen the next day or the next week or the next month. Given that I'm still in the hospital setting, um, you know, some of that would be if Eloise were to somehow contract the virus. Knowing what the next next steps are has um, put my mind at ease a bit. While these groups grew quickly, there is a sense they've not yet met demand and still need more help. The need was instantaneous and it was overwhelming and it still is overwhelming. Any university student that has had a background check, immunizations or CPR first aid training, we would love to take you on. Please tell everyone that it's very easy to set up and it will make a difference in people's communities. We made it so that it's an easy platform to replicate for anywhere in the country. For CBS This Morning, Errol Barnett, New York. Step up to sit. It's one of those things where every little bit helps. If you can help anybody, that, those are the people you need to help, the healthcare workers. Yeah, absolutely. You've got to stay busy this time as well. Yes, yes, yes.